Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 17 online connected franchise mode game. Today, the 0-2 Houston Texans take on the 2-0 Seattle Seahawks and right away, the Texans get a gift. There they go. It's a pick six to start things off today. Oh, we had Doug Baldwin right in front of us, but just a little bit of an overthrow by Wilson and it was taken back to the crib and we find ourselves down 7-0 early on in this game. In Facing a third down and seven after that pass. Looking to pass with Wilson. And we hit CJ Procise and he gets the first down. And that should settle things down a little bit here in Seattle. But we're actually going up tempo right here. I noticed he came out in quarters defense in that last play. And he's only got three down linemen. We can easily run this ball with Procise. He's practically in three man deep as we give it to Procise. Up the middle. First down and then some Procise. Finally brought down at the 42 yard line. We're going to try to run hurry up again. But he calls the timeout very smartly. Realizing he was in a bad situation. So we reset the offense, finding Graham, who gets walloped, but still gets a gain of five yards. Next play, play action. Wilson is just taken down by pick whoever Houston Texans you want, because they all came through. Here comes Clowney on third and 11, but Wilson lobs it to Jermaine Curse, who somehow comes down with the catch, both feet in bounds. Next play, Jimmy Graham. This drive has quickly taken off. We find ourselves at the two-yard line, trying to tie the game up. Pro size is stuffed. Great stop by the Houston Texans front. Second down, Thomas Rawls is going to tie this thing up. Things have gotten very ugly after that pick six, but um, you know, we can just play calm. Just came back. There's a ton of time left in this game. It's just one bad overthrow. It wasn't even a, a mistake we really made. It was just something Russell Wilson did. And this isn't really a mistake we made either. This is just Deshaun Shedd being called for a face max penalty, and now he's going to get the ball in great field position near midfield. Osweiler gets it off to the wheel tie, swerving Thomas, and finally brought down at the 10-yard line. And this drive, well, this is the last thing we really wanted. We want to flex our muscles defensively. Instead, Ty is falling down forward at the 5-yard line. Second to goal, play action. Osweiler looking end zone, intercepted by Earl Thomas. The man who got juked a couple plays earlier saves the drive with the INT. And that's a missed opportunity right there for Houston. Two big plays got them right in the red zone. But now we have the ball on third down and three. Looking with Wilson outside. It's Curse again. Curse is our main man on third down. With the Tyron Lockett injury, we kind of, you know, shifted a rotation a little bit and put Jermaine Curse as the slot receiver instead of Tyron Lockett. I'm really liking the way it's working out so far, especially in this game, the way Curse is playing. We have the rookie Walden at the two spot, and he's just hurtling anybody in the way. As you guys remember, he had a breakout game. Last time against the Colts, over 150 yards. I believe he had a touchdown in the night as well on that long touchdown. So, you know, our receiving core looking pretty good. And, of course, we got Jimmy Graham up there. Whenever we need a big-time play, we can have him answer the bell as we get a new set of downs after that Rawls effort. Russell Wilson going to smartly throw it to Walden. We could have gotten a gain of two, maybe three. We ran the football, but we get the first down throwing to Walden. Speaking of him, actually, this is Doug Baldwin on the screen pass. Trying to hit a back juke, but... That was not really too productive of a move. As we go outside, it's Curse again, and Jermaine Curse is getting a heavy workload. The ball finds itself at the four-yard line, trying to take the lead with Rawls. Fighting gets half the yardage necessary to get a touchdown. It's second down. We're looking for Baldwin, but it's intercepted by Rashad Jones. And that is a big stop by the Texans defense. Both teams throwing killer interceptions at the goal line as our pass rush comes through, thanks to Frank Clark. You guys will not see DeAndre Hopkins on the field as that pass is incomplete on second down because Hopkins was injured. He misses today's contest, a game the Texans needed him to be in as that is almost the safety by Jeremy Lane instead of fourth down and 30 punt. He clears the end zone in Densom almost to the 40 yard line. Earl Thomas on the return. Thomas with space. Ooh, almost made that into a touchdown, into a home run. Instead, it's going to practically be a bunt because we end up being called for a flag. These flags are killing us a little bit right now. We got to settle down on offense we're making way too many mistakes right now we're just kind of shooting ourselves in the foot that interception that was really the first thing i did bad and it was just a killer mistake that was just unacceptable as we go outside to walden otherwise not really too many complaints. We're 13 for 15. There's only two incompletions. We're interceptions as Rawls. Going to take us to the nine-yard line, and we're back to where we were previously. Trying to take the lead. Oh, 
Oh man, Simon had it, almost had his second pick six of the game. It's that third down. We hit Jimmy Graham in the middle of the field. Graham's been silent, but now he gets that catch. We choose some clock. Nearly in the first half, Thomas Rawls to the one yard line. Gonna try to QB sneak this, or we can pitch it outside. He pinches the box, and Thomas Rawls gets an easy touchdown and the lead. That was Rawls' second rushing touchdown of the game already, I believe. And that was great clock management right there because oh my god look at that i believe cam chancellor just freaking did the mannequin challenge in the middle of the game nice one EA. but um yeah we basically managed the clock as well as we could have because we got a touchdown in that drive and we gave him no time to answer back so now he gets the ball starting the second half but he doesn't get any extra points out of it and now he needs a touchdown to tie the game and keep in mind his touchdown came on a pick six his offense you know they got one or two big plays but otherwise as he gets one right there right on cue to will fuller you know we've been doing pretty decently defensively but for the most part he hasn't seen too much time on the field offensively as oswell are rolling out across the body and it's incomplete and there's an injury timeout because Osweiler got popped. He is down holding his shoulder and in comes, I believe, John Simon at the quarterback position as he somehow gets a catch right there. Oh, Kevin Hogan at the quarterback position. I said John Simon. That's the name of the linebacker that was getting pick sixes, I believe. That's third down in inches. That's barely a first down in the fullback dive. But yeah, we got Kevin Hogan at the quarterback position. I mean, Osweiler wasn't too great, but Hogan might still be a downgrade nonetheless. We'll just have to wait and see as he runs the screen on second down to Miller, but he gets rocked by Mogul to rookie third down and eight looking the pass needing a first down but he throws an interception hogan steps on the big stage and makes a big mistake and that is mogul again the rookie in 24 i saw some of you guys say that uh, we should change his number he's wearing 24 and that's march on lynch's number i'll work on that as uh, we throw an incompletion right there try to hit the out route didn't have time he sent a nice blitz right there second down clowny what a play by the great tex or the young texan superstar waiting to be Jade Davian Clowney, third and 21, Wilson, it's Bowen, but Bowen is popped, and we lose the football on a fumble, and now we've lost a fumble on every single game so far this season, every, all three games we lost the fumble recovery as he goes outside to Jalen Straw in one big play, and he's at midfield, and it just feels like, you know, we should be up in this game by more, but... It's just mostly self-inflicted penalties by us. Fumbling, interceptions, and all this. Sherman! Oh, how do we not get that one? There goes Lamar Miller instead. Earl Thomas to beat. And Thomas pushes him out of bounds. Big tackle right there to prevent the touchdown as he lobs it. End zone! Thomas again in great position to make a play, but oh, that should have been an interception. A second down and 10. Here's Hogan! Swallowed up by Frank Cork. And now a third down and forever. Pretty much needs the one yard line for a first down, but he throws an interception in instead and that's just a mistake by a young quarterback right there you can't throw that you can't force in that situation as jimmy graham's gonna get a great catch trying to juke a defender and he gets about 35 yards on that catch but you can't force that you're in position to get a field goal right there you can't take that chance you gotta take your three points and rely on your defense and whatever fluky plays happen to us and try to get back into this game instead you turn it over now we got this momentum we're playing pretty well offensively passing the ball to whoever we really want to at this point hitting pro size and that should be the last play of the third quarter though we do get one more off finding jimmy graham and he gets somersaulted down to the ground at the 16 yard line at this point we can't turn the ball over because any score here makes it a two possession game and with the way our defense is playing you know it's got to play a little bit conservatively right here second down russell wilson is taken down but there's a flag and it's gonna be a face mask and a new set of downs at the goal line for seattle and thomas rawls oh he needed one play to end the drive trucking the last man in the way as lamar miller gets rocked right there thomas rawls has been playing fantastic this might be the best year of his career brewing as the sean shed gets the interception the seattle defense has answered the bell whenever we needed them to today and I really we gotta get out of our own way offensively and so far so good on this drive thomas rolls he's got speed he's got a step but rashad jones gets the shoe string tackle to prevent the touchdown rashad jones has been the defensive mvp besides that simon guy for the texans defense but otherwise not many of these guys really seem interested in making a play as third down and long wilson is taken down oh yeah Jadavian clown has been 
very great as well. Let me mention that. He's been killing our right guard all game long, getting immediate block sheds, as you would expect Jadavian Connie to do against the Seattle offensive line. And one thing to note right now, as that ball is going to be incomplete, is that J.J. Watt is not in the Houston Texans. J.J. Watt got traded last season to the Washington Redskins, so that's why you're not seeing number 99 on the field. He's not injured or anything like that. So Kevin Hogan... In all, didn't really do too well in relief of Brock Osweiler. He came in a one-possession game, and he's not done anything since he came in, including that back-breaking interception on third and long. Second and ten, he sacked Frank Clark, having quite the game off the edge. That's actually Cliff Averill right there. He runs a screen pass on third and 20. Lamar Miller, or actually that is Shane Vereen, I believe, that's going to go nowhere. And now it's fourth down and 20. Might as well go for this at the two-minute warning. See whatever he can get. Will Fuller on the screen pass is actually going to get the first down right here. He got to sleep in a little bit. I kind of have my controller down right there. Got stuck on a D lineman. Pretty much whatever could go wrong went wrong on that play. And check me out with my uses. I get frozen. Thankfully, he makes a really bad read here and finds Bobby Wagner, but um, I got frozen right there. You can easily throw it outside. I don't know what the hell happened to my user defender, and that should pretty much solidify this game. He's going to end up not calling his timeout, so that will let us just milk out the rest of the clock and get the victory, as you're going to see right here. And then we just come out on a knee on third down. That we do. He doesn't call his timeout, and that's going to give us the 7-24 victory against the Houston Texans. So that was, you know, a pretty fun game, I guess. I mean, I, I want to say a fun game, but the only time I really get frustrated playing Madden is when I feel like we're not getting rewarded for making good plays, and I felt like that was happening a lot this game, where he would throw it into triple coverage and the ball would get swatted and then the overthrow to start the game the fumble by ball went on third down super long just felt like a messy game that we could have won by a lot more but at the end of the day gotta look at big picture we got the w that's the most important thing so we kind of averted disaster that game got the w good game to my opponent um leave a like and feel if you guys enjoyed it subscribe for more we'll go to the post game you see that dude it fall that dude gave up three sacks but how about the rookie with seven tackles Hey, man, we might have to trade Cam chance, so that guy's playing like that. So now we head to the post-game show where you guys see the New York Jets got their first win in the season at home against the New Orleans Saints. The Cleveland Browns shut out the Indianapolis Colts. The Colts now to a, a good stretch playing against the two teams that went into the Super Bowl last season, us and the uh, Browns back-to-back -back weeks. The Detroit Lions get a win against the Cowboys. I believe that was a sim game. The Giants get a win over the Redskins. The Giants looking all right so far. They got a rookie quarterback replacing Eli Manning this season. The Pittsburgh Steelers looking pretty scary this season. They they might contend in the AFC North. The Baltimore Ravens, they get a big time win over the Chicago Bears, who are struggling a little bit once again this season. And then you see Carolina against Green Bay. That's a good game. And Carolina ended up on top. Green Bay struggling offensively. The Rams stay undefeated, beating the previously undefeated San Francisco 49ers in what was a sim game, I believe. The Chiefs beat the Broncos pretty handily. You guys see the rest of the scores down here. Uh, the Philadelphia Eagles win once again. Jacksonville wins and stays undefeated. So yeah, leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed this. Subscribe for more Man 17 gameplays, and I'll catch you guys next time.